everybody welcome to this tutorial about file input stream and file output stream so let's begin first thing I need you to create a new project create a driver a person we have this person it's implementing the serializable interface okay it must implement this because we have a serializable via output stream so in order to move an object via the stream you need to make it serializable uh, we just give it a name, ID, address, and here is a constructor with a, all these attributes. First thing after this, we after that we're gonna move on to create a stream DAO. As you can see here, we just created a public class stream DAO for the person object. We need to write it into a file and read it from the file via IO stream. So let's begin and do that. First thing we have defined the stream DAO. Okay, we need now to make two methods one for saving and other for reading so first thing let's create the public void method for save the person so just gonna say save person to file and this is gonna take the person object person b and we gonna you know just gonna save it to the to the file via this method. So all you need to do is just create a try catch statement. Let's try. And here we just say catch exception because we're talking about IO. Maybe we're gonna, maybe we have a problem, file not found, or stuff like that. So we need to do this. Try catch. Let's say either we need to print the stack trace. Okay, this is the basic thing, the template. Uh, we move on to, to the try catch statement. We need to do all the stuff inside. So first thing, you need a file. Okay, you need a file output stream. Okay, in order to write into the file. Okay, this is the first thing that you need. So we say for file output stream. Okay, file output stream. Let's say FOS equal to new file output output stream okay I guess I have a problem with this let me just copy this and paste in here okay fine but we need to give uh, the file the the you know the file location so let me just say person person um, the txt this is the output folder the output file that we're gonna uh, save the data into it. So here we have a problem with p and p output stream. This is fine. Stream, stream, steam. <laughs> okay. So this is the first thing we have a the FOS file output stream, and we have specified the file that we're gonna save to. The next step that we need to take this FOS which is the output stream we wanna put it inside an object output stream so basically we just gonna do this we say object output stream stream OOS equal to new object output stream so this is gonna take the output stream so just say FOS. Maybe we need to import this, but I guess we have okay. That's fine. So we put the output stream or the file output stream inside the object output stream. So after this we need to write into the file output stream. Okay, we need we just take it, take that okay and inject it inside the object output stream but we need to write into the file output stream okay the actual writing is gonna be to the file output stream but we're gonna write an object stream okay and this object that we're gonna write is gonna pass from the object output stream to the file output stream and the actual writing is gonna be into this this text file so 
let's do this we have the person here okay we just want to write this person so we say say os dot write okay we have a method here write object so we need to write an object and this object must be serializable so you need to write the b here okay the p object the person object after this we need to close the object output stream so we say oo the close okay and we're ready to save the file into a text file so if you go to the driver okay nothing gonna happen because you need to make a an object from the stream DAO and pass it pass an object a real object to the person object so just go to the stream DAO the per driver and here just say okay you want to create a person person p equal new person and just want to say okay so the new person say uh, we need a name equal to a person equal new person I'm sorry we need to do this name what is going on here? <laughs> you know it's, uh, since a lot of time I didn't write anything in, in uh, Java I missed with C sharp anyway so we're gonna write three things okay uh, here we just want to give a name and let's say address whatever blah 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 okay uh, this is the person I need to pass it to a stream DAO so let's say DAO equal new stream DAO and this is it we just say DAO the right save person we just give it P this is is all the story okay we can run the driver run the driver okay everything is fine if we go to the folder we're gonna see a person object. If you open this, you gotta see uh, we have a header, but we cannot understand. You know, we can we can see here some values like, okay, we have this object, we have, but it's not clear. The data here is not clear because we send it through a stream. Okay, we just saving an object here. So you might see, you know, we don't have a text file. We have a we we don't have a a, 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 a you know a normal data. We have a, an object data here, so that's why the data cannot be understand well enough from any from the user. Okay, so this is the first thing I show you how to create and save the to an object output stream into a file. The next step is we are gonna implement other method to write to read the object stream from file and give it to back to the user so let's do this we have this save person let me just copy this uh, forget about this public we need to return person and we say read person from file okay we just need the copy copy this the same thing you just need copy with a little modification wait a minute okay copy this uh, let me just create here person p equal null and just go here instead of file output just change it to input okay it's just want to say input everything instead of output just change it to input so nothing fancy input object input input you just change everything into input and instead of write instead of write instead of you say okay um, okay object input stream or new object input wait a minute what I'm doing here okay okay and instead of write object I need to read object so I just want to take this P 
and see and instead of OS let me just say input iOS and uh, file OS of IS okay just with the okay catch in the method so here we have OIS OS okay iOS we're gonna do use iOS to read object so just say read object and we're gonna cast this into person person and here we just say okay P equal to this we have a, a additional T here forget about it and here I input object input stream iOS okay this is pretty much fine FIS okay we need to return uh, the 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 P object return P okay re re what is going on with me today return P okay okay let's now read this inside the driver so I go to the driver and let me just forget about this okay but I need the the DAO object so stream DAO equal DAO dot read from read person from file okay I'm gonna save this into a person just say P I'm gonna save this to person and I'm gonna you know just display the result G option pane dot show message dialog say no and let's see P the name okay no line add this and do other stuff like address or stuff okay be the address okay let's test this run the driver again we should got the person we got Ahmed we got the address okay you can't read uh, we just saved as you, as you know we just saved um, you know the last thing is the address so that's why we get uh, you know anyway so I hope you enjoy this tutorial guys I know it's really um, it's not that hard but you need to um, to just speak here about the file input stream object stream how they work together I think in the next tutorial I'm gonna teach you exactly what do you mean by all this okay so before before we finish this tutorial don't forget to subscribe the channel see you in the other tutorial about circuit programming and IO stream so see you in the next video thank you